Exactly. Exactly. Well, he was highly recruited and sought after by many uh, colleges, over 50, Georgia, Mississippi State, um, to, to name a few. Auburn was your final choice, though. Like, why? Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm from New Jersey, okay? So I wanted him to go up north to college, you know? I wanted him to go to some of the, the D1 universities in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Philly, you know. So when Auburn came calling, my first impression was, no, I'm not sending my son to Alabama <laughs> to play basketball. Yeah. You know, I just, you know, I'm a northerner. But when I met Bruce Pearl, I kind of opened up because I said, you know what? He's a northerner. We got something in common yeah. here. He knows what I know. Yeah. You know, and, and, and he's a good guy, you know, and, and I just I love Bruce Pearl. I love him, love him, love him. And so I started thinking, you know, Auburn's really not that far away. It's only an hour and a half. You know, if he was to go to school up north, I wouldn't be able to attend his games and everything. Yeah. But uh, so so that's one of the reasons why, you know, Auburn's an excellent university. I love Bruce Pearl and the distance. The short drive was just just really I, I just I couldn't think of anything else, a better place for him to go. Well, know. that gave you the opportunity to um, to attend um, a lot of the games. We attended, we attended every home game, wow. you know, and sometimes wow. we'll be tired, the game, <laughs> you know, over at 10 o'clock, we didn't make it home till 11, 12 o'clock, I was like, oh my God, but, but it was worth it, and, and Auburn has a lot of energy, you know, I didn't realize all that was going on at Auburn, you know, the, the togetherness, the, 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 the whole student, you know, atmosphere, it's it's really really a good college you know it'll make you want to go to college and make you do good right you know so I, I just and Chuma, you know he he learned a lot you know I looked at him after he had left Auburn and I said oh so you didn't just play basketball so you actually learned something <laughs> you yay you went to class oh <laughs> uh, went to class he learned he had to go to class now there was no uh, you know avoiding that but they gave yeah. him all the academic support that he needed, right. you know, and, and I love that about Auburn, you know, and, and they do that with all their athletes. They don't just let them go and then sail in the wind and then slowly work them way into uh, academic suspension or, or right. probation. They really support their athletes because, and this is, this is my, my issue during recruiting, one of the questions I asked colleges that we visited, what kind of support do you give your athletes? Because athletes, you know, going to school, they're not a regular student, right. okay? Being a student athlete, they go above and beyond. They're traveling, they need extra help. Yeah. What do you have in place for them? You know, because regular students, they go to class from eight to 12 and then they go and study. Yeah. And the rest of the time is theirs. But not these athletes. They're traveling, not getting back to, on campus till late Sunday night or whatever, or, yeah. or late Monday night. It's just, you know, so Auburn, they, they convinced me that they had a, a program in place where they could support the, their athletes academically, you right. know? And uh, so that's another thing that got me, that convinced me that Auburn was the good, was the right place for Chilwell. Well, of course, because as a parent, your first thing is graduate, is graduating, exactly. is your child getting that education and being able to graduate at the end of the road, right? Whereas for our kids, they just want to play. They don't understand or exactly. really care about anything else other than, you know what I mean, playing NCAA and then and then trying to live their dream by moving forward and getting to the league. But you need that degree to fall back on at one point. So you're absolutely right. As a parent, you have to ask these questions because if you don't, no one else is going to. But you know what? I was really appalled at certain coaches told me, D1 coaches, oh, they got to get that on their own. Yeah. Oh, they got to do this. 
oh, they got a, you know, and I was thinking, scratch you off the list. Yeah. Because it seems like you're, you, you, you don't, you're not there for the student right. and the athlete. Yeah. You're just trying to achieve your own objectives. And so now we can't, I'm, you know, some local school said that, you know, I would have loved him for him to go to Atlanta and Georgia. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But with that type of attitude, I said, no, uh-uh. they setting you up for failure. Yeah. They're going to use you and they're going to kick you to curb. And so we're, we're not going to let that happen. But you know no. what, Renee, it's awesome that you as a mom that you recognize that because there's a lot of parents that just don't or they just don't have the time or they just don't care or whatever the situation yeah. is. Right. They just like, oh, you you got that scholarship. That's great. Go. You've got that free education, just go on but your business. But it's like, like, what does he get out of it in the end, right? And you can ask a lot of parents, and they're clueless. They have no idea. Exactly. You know, you know what I mean? Is your child going to class? I don't know. What is your child doing there? Oh, he plays basketball. I know. But what program is he in? And a lot of them can't tell you. They're like, I don't know. Exactly. And and then those instructors at those big universities, they don't care if you're an athlete, you represent yeah. in school. No, they're still going to fail you. Yeah. Regardless, they don't care if you, you've been traveling for four days and you just got back and you're a little behind and everything and you need yeah. some extra help. They, they don't care. Yeah. Some do, but not, not all of them. Well, in my son's case, where he was considered an international student coming from Canada, some of the classes he actually had to attend. So there was no yep. pretending. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> if you got six classes, you got to show up to four. Like they want to see your face. You know what I mean? See? So, and, and that's, you know what, to me, that's what it should be because at the end of the day, it's teach them how to grind. It's teach them, them you know what I mean? To be, right. to be ready for life. I mean, we as parents, we get up, we go to work, we look after our kids. There's no breaks. Nope. You know what I mean? So you shouldn't have a break just because you have a basketball game to play and you're tired. Like, you know, I'm tired when I go to work right. and I come home, you know what I mean? So it's good. So to me, it was, it's, it was like a learning process. Definitely. You know what I mean? So I was, yes. I, I, it's, it's a blessing, you know what I mean, when you find that yeah. right school. 